Hello, I'm Alex Yosef from Doc365. In this video, I will show you how to create a form in Microsoft Forms and different options you get to configure it the way you want. Microsoft Forms is an amazing app that can be used for creating surveys, polls and quizzes. The surveys and polls can be conducted among your employees and even among people from outside your organization. Let's start the tutorial. The first step is to sign into your Microsoft 365 account and from the home menu, click on the app launcher, you can see in the left corner and choose forms. If you don't see the forms options right away, just click on all apps and choose forms from this option. So you will be taken to the Microsoft forms uh, platform. From Microsoft forms home page, you can click on the plus new form option to create a new form. Uh, you can also click on the arrow button down to choose or create a new quiz. So uh, we'll just create a form first uh, for a survey. So I'll just give the form the name marketing uh, strategy review uh, just to get an idea about how our team members think about our current marketing strategy. So, uh, survey. And you can also give a description if required. So, I'll just give the description. You can also upload an image here, the title area, if you prefer. You can choose Bing search or you can straight away download, upload from your uh, desktop. So I will just choose uh, one of my these, yeah. So the image is getting uploaded now. So uh, let's uh, move to the other options. Yeah, the image is ready here. So um, the next step is to add uh, new questions or uh, options here. So let's add a new question. Uh, there are different types of questions. You can either choose choice, text, rating, date, or if you need more options, you can just click on the more options icon here. There you can choose a ranking, uh, like code, uh, file upload, net promoter score section. You can also choose different sections. Uh, if your questions are from different, uh, your questions are regarding different categories or areas of the uh, marketing strategy in this case. So I'm just choosing the choice as the first option. So, uh, and uh, my first question is, uh, how good uh, is our marketing strategies right now? So the options are uh, brilliant. Second option is good. Third option is okay. okay. By default, there will be two options. You can click on add option uh, to add more options. So these are the options I'm giving and you can uh, choose either multiple answers and required. If you are marking it required, uh, it will be a mandatory uh, question to answer. You can choose, if you are choosing multiple answers, uh, the user can choose more than one answer for the question. There are also more options, which is uh, shuffle options, uh, drop down, um, subtitle, and you can also add branching with this option. So I'm also, I'm choosing a next option as the rating. So the question is, uh, the question is, how will you, how will you rate our current strategies? So uh, from out of level five, um, five as default, you can also choose 10 if we, we can, I'll choose five. And the symbols, uh, instead of stars, I would like to uh, get the rating in numbers. So out of one to five. 
so that's another option I'm, I'm keeping uh, this as required uh, let's keep all the questions required that's uh, important let's add one more uh, question uh, let's let uh, keep a text question that is this is something we should stop doing kind now lightly so uh, so they will answer in some few words here uh, apart from that uh, long answer you can choose either long or short answers uh, i will also like to add an image along with this uh, question yeah we have uploaded image uh, to make the question look more uh, interesting so uh, once you have added all the questions you can preview the form here by clicking on the preview uh, option so this is how the form looks when it reaches a user and uh, this is the uh, desktop view you can also check the mobile view here so that's uh, pretty simple and uh, very useful options you can see and there is now there is also an option to uh, set up a theme for this particular uh, survey form uh, there are a good number of forms uh, very interesting forms so let's keep um, I will choose let's choose this um, yeah this looks good There are also more options over here. You can go to settings from here. If you want to print the form you have, you can choose the option here. And once the form is ready, you can share, click on share. You can choose uh, who can access this form. Um, anyone can, there are three options. Anyone can respond only people in my organization, specific people in my organization. So if you want to contact a, a survey, or a poll among your customers or people outside your organization, you should choose uh, anyone can respond. So when you uh, send them the link, they can easily access. The, the only thing is they can only uh, respond as uh, anonymously. So that's one thing. And in the second option, you can um, conduct a poll or survey among your employees inside the organization. So you can also make sure that uh, they, they need to uh, enter a name first to submit the form so that you can understand who actually entered the form. So these are the options you get. You can also shorten the URL here using this uh, option, shorten URL. And there are options like a QR code embedding it in any of your uh, uh, website pages or SharePoint sites and you can also email this form to uh, people or groups as you wish. To, to make more changes you, you need to uh, go to the more options section in the right corner and click on settings. So here you can decide actually uh, who, who can fill out this form. So if you want to uh, make it mandatory to enter the name you can click on record name here and also choose uh, one per one response per person uh, if you think it's important there are also other options you can choose here and uh, um, response receipts and options for responses uh, make all these changes or choose whatever options you wish and uh, uh, once you are ready you can either send uh, this form to the preferred users through the email option just click on email so automatically your outlook app will set up a form or set up an email with the link and you can choose uh, to whom you need to send and make it go that's one option but if if you really want to send this to uh, 
people directly you can always choose the link option and just send them send them through chat or place it in, among your any of your emails you have already drafted etc just wait until uh, all the all your respondents mark their responses and and then to see the results just uh, click on the form from the uh, home page when it's ready so uh, this was the form you just uh, created and sent it to everyone uh, go to the second tab which is the responses tab here you can see all the uh, responses you have acquired through this form so as you can see there are there were four responses and the average time time taken to complete the survey is 32 seconds and the form is still active you can also open this form and or the results in an excel file so uh, this is how the, this these are the results like uh, the first question how good is our market strategies so uh, three uh, answered brilliant one good and this is a very good graphical representation you see here how will you rate our current second question out of four responses we achieved 4.75 as average which is very good and the third question which was a text question is there something we should stop uh, yeah the answers are nothing no no so this looks uh, very nice and you can click on view results to get a detailed view in the detailed view actually you can analyze each one's uh, response first one is shiny ms which is these were her responses you can go to the next respondent and yeah you can also see time taken to fill this form for each user so these are the options you can also print these responses there's an option over there so this is how the responses uh, option work i hope you uh, you got a clear idea about uh, how to create a Microsoft form and conduct a quiz or survey or poll among um, your employees or people outside. That's all for today. Have a good day.